हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द वीडियो ऑफ ई चैप्टर वन गोइंग टू स्कूल इंडिया आवर कंट्री इंडिया हैज ए वैरायटी ऑफ लैंड फॉर्म्स लैंड फॉर्म्स आर द नेचुरल सेप्स और फीचर्स ऑफ द अर्थ लैंड फॉर्म्स इंक्लूड्स माउंटेन्स वैलीज प्लेट्यूज प्लेन्स आइलैंड्स children in our country go to school in more than one way they face many difficulties but in spite of all these they never fail to attend their school they cross rivers climb up or climb down mountains hills cross jungles and face many challenges but they never miss their school can you tell me why do you come to school yes dear students you come to school to learn and play you get many friends here to share your thoughts and ideas let us meet some children and see how they reach school Look at the map of India. Can you look at Assam? Let us see. This is Assam. You can see the map of Assam. In Assam, children use bamboo bridge to cross the river and go to school. Bamboo bridges are built in places like Assam where it rains heavily. In such places, after it rains, there is knee high water everywhere. Children often cross these bridges while going to school. They hold their books in one hand and bamboo with the other hand. They quickly cross the bamboo and rope bridge to reach school. Try this. Collect some bricks Lay them on the ground in a line as shown in the picture. Try walking on them. Now look at Ladakh. Here you can see the trolley. In Ladakh, students use trolleys to cross river and go to school. Every day children have to cross the river to get to school. A trolley is used to cross wide and deep rivers where it is difficult to build bridges like in Ladakh. Trolley is an open box made of wood attached with the iron rope. On both the sides the iron rope is tied tightly with strong trees or rocks. A pulley helps the trolley to move across the rope. Pulley is a type of instrument which helps to pull something easily four or five children can sit in the trolley they reach the other side of the river in a short time can you tell the difference in both the pictures which would be easier using the pulley or not using it to lift things answer in picture one A boy is trying to pull the bucket from the well without using a pulley whereas in picture 2 a boy is pulling the bucket full of water using a pulley definitely using a pulley to lift things is easier look around you where all do you see the use of pulleys list them see the video of pulley observe it pulleys are used to fetch water from wells in moving trolleys in elevators in flag poles to hoist flags to lift heavy loads in construction sites in moving curtains in theaters in cranes and bulldozers in fishing also pulleys are used 
Breeze is a structure which connects two places. Bridges commonly carry highways, rail, road lines and pathways over obstacles such as waterways, deep valley and other transportation routes. Cement bridge. We often need to go across some water bodies so we use bridges. These are made of cement, bricks and iron rods. The bridge may also have steps. How is cement bridge different from a bamboo bridge? Cement bridge. A cement bridge is made of bricks, cement and iron rods. Bamboo bridge. A bamboo bridge is made of bamboo sticks, ropes and poles. Cement bridge. It is stronger than a bamboo bridge. A bamboo bridge is weaker than a cement bridge. More people can cross a cement bridge at a time. Less people can cross a bamboo bridge at a time. The bridges may also have steps. Bamboo bridge, the bridges have no steps. Cement bridge, almost everyone uses the bridge. People, vehicles, animals. In bamboo bridge, only people use the bridge. Is there any bridge near your house? Imagine what difficulties there would be if the bridge was not there. If there was no bridge over the river, people would have found it difficult to cross the river. They would have used boats to reach their schools, offices, etc., which would have consumed more time. Now, look at Kerala in this map. Vallam. Vallam is a small boat made of wood. In Kerala, children use Vallam to cross the river and go to school. Can you think of other ways by which we can travel on water? We can travel on water by ship, streamer, water scooter, raft, etc. Have you seen any other kind of boats? Yes. I have seen other kinds of boats. Some of them are pedal boat, row boat, motor boat, house boat. Now locate Rajasthan in this map. You can see the desert and this is the picture of camel cart. In Rajasthan, children live in the desert. There is sand all around. It gets very hot in the day. They ride in a camel cart to reach school. Camel cart is the only transport used in desert areas. Camel is called as the sheep of the desert. Now see this picture. This is the picture of bullock cart. Villages are located in plain areas. Children ride in their bullock cart going slowly through the green fields. If it is too sunny or raining, they use their umbrellas. Some bullock carts have roof. What are the differences between a bullock cart and a camel cart? Bullock cart. Bullock carts are used in plain areas in villages. Camel carts are used in desert areas. Bullocks are used to pull the cart. In camel cart, camels are used to pull the cart. It moves slowly in green fields, but camel cart moves on the sand in desert.
in some places students use horse cart bicycle ride children ride their bicycles on the long road to school at first girls were not coming to school using bicycles because it was too far but now they are coming in groups of 7 8 girls easily riding the bicycles even through the difficult roads let us look at gujarat in this map let us find out some other ways by which children get to school this is jugad in gujarat children go to school on a special transport called jugad it is a vehicle made of waste material the front looks like a motorcycle but the carriage at the back is made out of planks of wood it sounds foot 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 when it runs can you tell why it is called jugad jugad means something that is made to serve a purpose on temporary basis jugad which is used as a means of transport in gujarat makes use of waste materials the front part of a motorcycle is attached to the wooden planks that are used to make a carriage at the back a jugad is used to carry passengers from one place to another means of transport all the medium that children used to go to their school are called means of transport can you tell what are different types of means of transport let us see the videos the means of transportation are bus train aeroplane ship car while the mode of transportation refers to road air sea ocean etc the most common modes of transport are railways roadways airways waterways why do we need means of transport we need means of transport to move from one place to another for one purpose or another using these we cover long distances in short time how do means of transport help us we can meet our relatives and friends who stay far away we can travel from one place to another we can enjoy the natural beauty and man made things by visiting different places in case of natural calamity or an accident we can provide relief or rescue to victims quickly children cross the jungle at some places children have to go through a thick forest to reach school at some places it is so thick that even sunlight does not pass through it is also very silent there you can only hear the sounds of different birds and other creatures see the thick forest now moving on the snow Some places like northern hills areas are covered with snow most of the times. Children go to school through miles of snow. They hold hands and walk carefully. If the snow is soft, their feet sink into it. When the snow is frozen, they may slip and fall. They also use sledge to cross the areas. Let us see some rocky paths.
you can see these features in Uttarakhand. Let us look at Uttarakhand in this map. These are rocky paths. In Uttarakhand, children live in the mountains. The paths are rocky and uneven. The children who live in the plains will find it difficult to walk on these. But the children of Uttarakhand can easily race up and down, walk easily and reach their schools. These paths are crossed by walking. Do you think that punishment should be there in schools? Answer: There should not be any kind of punishment in schools because of the following reasons. It can develop fear and inferiority complex inside a child's mind. It may refrain the child from attending school properly. It can hinder his or physical as well as mental growth. If the performance of a child is poor, parents and teachers should guide him or her. Is punishment the only solution to misdeeds? Make some rules for school to prevent misdeeds. Answer: Definitely no. Punishment is not the only solution to misdeeds. Here are some rules for school to prevent misdeeds. Students should not bring costly items or money to the school. Students must be punctual in attending classes. Students should not be allowed to use motorcycles or cars to come to school. This is because most students drive carelessly, which may cause accidents. No fashion accessories or casual outfits should be allowed. All students must come in neat and proper uniforms. Students should not be allowed to go out of the premises during recess. Students should not be allowed to sit in the library or the playground during their classes. Students commuting on their own should not loiter around after school. Further, the good behavior of students must be appreciated and rewarded timely. Find out five means of transport from the grid. Let us search. Vallam, Jugad, Camel Cart, Car. and cycle fill in the blanks it does helps a trolley to move across the rope pulley cement iron rods bricks are used to make dash bridge cement bridge a vallam is used to reach school in some parts of which state Kerala In Rajasthan children use a dash to reach school which vehicle camel cart In parts of Assam children reach school by crossing over dash bridges bamboo bridges A dash is a vehicle used in rural areas made by putting together parts from other vehicles or machines Jugad Now match the names of the places Strong iron ropes is used to cross the river in Ladakh Children walk through rocky paths Uttarakhand It rains heavily in Assam Children use Jugad to reach school in which place Yes you are right it is Gujarat our feet sinks into it in northern hills okay thank you dear students for watching the video thank you all